Yo, what's going on? In today's video, I got Haruta's Miracles. You guys know from Jujutsu Kaisen, the blonde guy that got his ass beat by Nanami and stuff, and then got killed by Sukuna. And stuff. Well, let me sound like a spoiler because then maybe it came out a couple weeks ago. But anyway, um, so yeah, so if you guys didn't really understand his abilities, um, pretty much, uh, he has the ability to, um, they call miracles, right? Where pretty much when he's close to the point of death, he can you could say kind of escape it or avoid it and stuff like he's or you could say kind of brought back to life whatever you want to say whatever you want to however you want to call, uh, put it and stuff but he's pretty much he saved from dying pretty much but only like a couple times stuff because it only lasts a couple times so i pretty much made it so that you have six you have six lives you could say it's a lot it's pretty much a live system so six lives and then you know when your health gets to a certain point because obviously you can't wait till you're the player's health gets to zero because then they'll be dead at that point. So when your health gets to a certain point, it'll automatically, you know, generate you back to 100, but it'll take one of your lives away. That's pretty much how I made the system. So yeah, it's one of my simple video. It's one of the simple concept videos and stuff. I'll improve on and make it much and make it cooler depending on how much love and support the video gets. The concept is very similar to how I made Infinity. You guys will see the scripts are literally pretty much the same. But let's go ahead and get straight into it. So first things first, let's go ahead and insert a remote event into replicated storage. We can name this remote event combat event and then we can go ahead and insert a screen gui into starter gui this is so that we can know like okay the miracles are currently activated or active so i can name this miracles gui disable reset on spawn um i can insert a text label i can put it like up here then we can do some customization you could say you know do, name it miracles text label uh, make customization, make the background, make it fully transparent, bold the text, build, uh, by default, we could have the text say, um, let's see, miracles disabled, change the text color to, you know, nice bright red, if it's text stroke, maybe even, you know, change the font, I don't know, change the font, that looks nice. And yeah, just like that, we have finished setting up the UI. Now let's go ahead and insert a local script into the UI. And then we can name this script combat script in a parentheses put local, right? And delete print hello world, make a couple variables. First, let's get the user input service. I'm going to say local UIS is equal to game, get service, user input service. Then I'm going to get the combat mode event. I'm going to say local combat event is equal to game, the replicate storage, wait for child, combat event. Lastly, I'm going to get the local player. I'm going to say local player is equal to game dot players dot local player. And then I'm going to set up the function. I'm going to say UIS the input began connect function in parentheses put input comma processed enter. You're going to say if input dot user input type is equal to enum dot user input type dot keyboard and input dot key code is equal to enum dot key code. I'm going with the e, e key, but you guys can do whatever key you want. E and process is equal to false to make sure the player is not typing in chat. And then I'm gonna say, and then I'm gonna use the if statement to check the status of the miracles. So I'm gonna say player dot player gui dot miracles gui dot miracles text table dot text is equal to quotation marks. Then you're gonna put, you're gonna say miracles disabled. Enter right. If that's the case, we're gonna fire them up. Fire their mode event. We're gonna say combat event fire server in quotation marks. Put here in cools so we can activate it, right? And then I'm going to say player dot player gui dot miracles gui uh, miracle text label dot text is equal to miracles. Well down miracles colon and they're now enabled. And then we can change the and then we can change the um the text color. So let's say miracle gui and miracle text table it's color three is equal to color three dot new then you want to say uh zero point three zero okay just pretty much a nice bright green right and then we're going to set the else if statement we're going to say else if let's say it ourselves one time so control c control v paste that right boom this time we're just gonna change it to enabled. Then once again, copy and paste. Not all of this, just these two lines, right? And then we're going to set it to disabled, disabling it, and then set the color back to red. So boom, right? And just like that, we are done on the local. We're done on the client side. Now I'm moving to the service side. So let's insert a service script into service script service. Oh, I forgot to mention, I have a sound and sound service. 
I named it miracles and stuff. It's just it literally like um I literally typed like laser sounds or something. I typed like laser sounds or, or no, no I typed power up sounds like a power up sound, and then I just found it. You guys can just find the sound. You know, just find the sound in toolbox and yeah. And then let's go ahead and get the sound service. Let's do local SS to go to game, get service, sound service, and lastly we'll get the combat remote event. So local combat event, game replicated storage, wait for child combat event. Then we'll say combat event on server event, connect function. In parentheses, put PLR show for player, then event type enter. Then we'll say local character, and then we do player dot character. Then we'll say if event type is equal to attention marks, miracles, right? Enter, then we'll say if not player. Fine, first child in quotation marks, you're gonna put miracles fading. How much miracles is you know left? Then I'm gonna create it. So this is for if it doesn't already exist. I'm gonna say local miracles remaining is equal to instance dot new number value parented to the player. You're gonna say miracles remaining dot name is equal to is equal to miracles remaining, right? Then you're gonna set the default value. However many lives you want. I I want six. I think that's how it was in the show. And then you're gonna go on the outside of the if if statement you're gonna say ss that you know your sound effect play then you're gonna fire it back to the client's so comment event fire client in quotation marks you're going you're gonna i'm sorry you're gonna fire it to the player then in quotation marks you're going to put your recalls right then you're gonna say character uh, wait, i just realized something oh sorry oh sorry you actually don't need to put why did i why did i even have that i don't think about it. why did i even have that yeah you don't need that sorry never mind we get that um we're gonna say character dot humanoid here's where like the you know life saving part comes in so character dot humanoid that health changed right connect function right close parentheses enter you're gonna say if character dot humanoid dot health now this part is is up to you guys i i said less than equal to 15 health because you know if it's a combat game you know like there are a whole bunch of abilities that can you know easily do over 15 damage so you just want to make sure the player doesn't get too low so that so that they die before they're able to you know be saved so let's think of 15 and player dot miracles aiming is of course greater than zero and if that's the case you're going to say player dot miracles remaining that value is less than equal to one right and then I'm going to say character dot humanoid dot health is equal to character dot humanoid health. So the player is back to full health. Oh, and I also forgot the name of the script. You guys know we just do combat script in parentheses server. Sorry, guys, I'm honestly tired. I'm sure you guys cure it. But anyway, let's go ahead and test this. So if I press play, as always, if you guys want access to any of my scripts or models, you guys can become either a channel member or a Discord subscriber. Links to either one of those options can be found in the description. Okay, so if I go to my player, you guys don't see it here, but if I press E, ooh. okay, there we go. You guys see miracles are enabled now. You guys, you guys hear the sound. You see the miracles remaining variable, right? So if I go onto the server side, if I so so if I set my player not that if I set my um player's health to less than fifteen, it's gonna reset it back. I like, watch if I set it to five. Oh, unless there's an unless there's an issue. Okay, I forgot. There's an error. My fault, guys. So make sure this is that value. Okay, so activate it right, and then server side. I'm gonna you guys see right there. Okay, so if I set my player's health right, if I set my player's health to let's say like I don't know five. You guys see how it's instantly went back to 100, but then if I go check here, actually, we don't even need to keep moving in between. We can really just check like here. You guys see how it went down to five. Now, if I change it again, now if I do it so and over again, boom, 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 you guys see how it keeps going back to 100. You see the miracles remaining, keeps going down. Now, I can only save myself like two more times. So, if I change my health, so if I change my health, you know, boom. Boom, and then now to you guys see how yeah now I can actually die, right? Boom, now I can actually die. So yeah, that's how it works. If you guys enjoyed the video, 
don't forget to leave a like and subscribe thank you guys for watching and yeah if you guys want a part two just just leave uh let me know in the comments thank you guys for watching